Labor suspends strike in big relief for Super Eagles ahead of 2026 World Cup qualifier with South Africa. Oscillators Paris Saint Germain it list as Napoli demands two players a swap deal with Arsenal. Djokovic sets new Grand Slam record and golf book semi final sport at Roland Garros. Demin Fit Dynamo, Akiyemi Fagolagun, bidding you welcome to this spell binding edition of your favorite sports show on radio. Let's tell you that football fans can leave a sigh of relief as the Nigeria Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress have suspended the national strike, making it possible for stranded Super Eagles players to join their colleagues in camp. A good number of Super Eagles players could not connect their flights to Rio from Lagos and Abuja. Defenders Semia Jayi, Bright Osai Samuel and Calvin Bassi, midfielder Franco Yeka and forward Paul Anuachu were affected. The trio of midfielder Alex Wobi Goalkeeper Maduka Okoye and forward Ademola Lukman could also not connect their flight to Uyo. And certainly, the turn of event must excite Coach Finidi George, who will finally have the full complement of his players for the must win World Cup qualifier against the Bafana Bafana of South Africa in Uyo on Friday. And former Nigeria international Victor Ikweba has won the Super Eagles out of the 2026 World Cup qualifier. South Africa will be stubborn as we saw at the last AFCON. They have a lot going for them and are no longer intimidated by Nigeria. The Super Eagles have to therefore step up to beat them in Uyo. It won't be an easy match, but Nigeria have the players to win. And we can tell you that the Bafana Bafana are due to fly into Nigeria Wednesday, just as they have been forced to replace a star defender because of injury. Bafana Bafana midfielder Grant Kekana is the latest South African player to be ruled out of the 2026 World Cup qualifier against Nigeria. Kekana was one of the key players for the Bafana Bafana at the 2023 AFCON in Côte d'Ivoire. Coach Hugo Bruce has called up giving Nsimango as his replacement. And we can tell you that the top scorer at the Africa Cup of Nations five months ago, Emilio Nsue, was never a Eligible to play for Equatorial Guinea throughout his 11-year international career. FIFA has ruled. FIFA has now published the verdict to explain why its disciplinary committee last month stripped two wins from Equatorial Guinea in qualifying games for the 2026 World Cup that were played in November. In both games, the 34-year-old Unsue scored in 1-0 wins over Namibia and Liberia. The former Spain under 21 international should not have played in either game and is now banned by FIFA for six months from national team games. It was a repeat judgment of FIFA disciplinary verdict in 2013 that also ordered Equatorial Guinea to default two qualifying games for the 2014 World Cup as 3-0 losses because Unsue was ineligible. FIFA said its disciplinary judges in the most recent investigation confirmed the reason from the 2013 cases that Unsue was ineligible because he played competitive games for Spain's eight group teams before acquiring his new nationality. Disappointing, you want to say, for Emilio Unsue and straight away from the Nigeria Premier Football League. We can tell you that Shooting Stars head coach Bega Ogumote has set his sights on securing a continental ticket for the Uli Ole Warriors. The Ibadan based team is currently fourth on the log with 56 points, closely trailing Aimba and Remo Stars who are on 59 points. The top three teams at the end of the season will qualify for the Cup Champions League and Confederation Cup and 3SC are determined to clinch one of the tickets. We have come a long way and this is a big opportunity that we cannot afford to slip off our ends. Our target is to secure one of the Continental tickets and taking you right now to the camp of the Los Merengues where Kylian Mbappe looks set to spearhead Real Madrid's new era of Galacticos. The World Cup superstar is joining a team already full of superstars like Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Junior, Federico Valverde, that lifted La Liga, the Spanish Super Cup, and the Champions League. And it's not the only player who Los Blancos are targeting to further strengthen their team. Teenage prodigy Henry will join the club in July 2024 when he turns 18. Real Madrid have also been linked 
with a sensational suit for Ben Minnick left back Alfonso Davis as they seek to add to their pool of world class talent. And we can tell you that Kylian Mbappe's transfer to Real Madrid has left a massive void for Paris Saint Germain to fill next season. And now, the club's hierarchy are mulling over options to replace the World Cup star, Super Eagle star, and Napoli frontman Victor Simen is one of the players on PSG's hit list. His Napoli teammate, Vika Varasalia, out of South Manchester United forward Marcus Rashford, Benjamin Sesko of RB Leipzig, and Bayern Munich's Eric Maxim Topomotin have also been linked. Meanwhile, Arsenal might be able to sign Victor Osima this summer, but the Gunners will reportedly have to swap two stars with Napoli in order to do so. A clinical striker is a top priority for Mikel Arteta this summer, with many believing it is the final piece of the puzzle needed to get over the line in the Premier League. Osima is regarded as one of the best number nines in Europe and has been linked with a potential move to the Emirates for quite some time. The report claims one way around Osimhen's price tag, a swap deal with Napoli, picking out two Arsenal players, Takahiro Tomiyasu and Emil Smith-Rowe. And the question is, where will the reigning king of African football, Victor Osimhen, be playing next season? PSG, Arsenal or Chelsea? Fingers crossed. And we can tell you that the Champions League team of the season has been revealed with Real Madrid dominating. Dortmund goalkeeper Gregor Kobel was chosen in goal. Real's Danny Cavajal is at right back with Chelsea Loni. Ian Madsen on the other side after his starting campaign with Dortmund. Antonio Rudiger has been picked at centre-back alongside Dortmund's Mats Hummels. Jude Bellingham is included in midfield next to Paris Saint-Germain's Vitina and Dortmund's Marcel Sabitza. Manchester City's Phil Foden and Premier League Player of the Year is at the right wings. Real star Vinicius Junior, who scored the winner in the final, is placed on the other side. And finally, Ben Munich star Harry Kane spearheads the attack. And we can tell you that Kevin De Bruyne has put Saudi Arabian clubs on alarm by revealing his open to leaving Manchester City this summer. The 32-year-old counter with the Premier League champions expires at the end of next season. And when asked about the potential of a switch to the Middle East, De Bruyne, who already earns 300,000 pounds a week at City, admitted that the incredible amounts of money on offer make it an attractive destination that will be hard to turn down. And taking you right now to Stanford Bridge, where Enzo Maresca will spend the summer holidays rewatching Chelsea matches from last season. The Italian will start work on July 1, but is already preparing for pre-season. Having asked Chelsea's data room to provide performance analysis on every player from youth level to first team. And taking you right now to Roland Garros, Novak Djokovic celebrated a record 378 Grand Slam singles victory. The 37-year-old Serbian came from 2-1 down to beat Argentine Francisco Serundolo. No player, male or female, has won more matches than him across the four majors in the Open era. He has been tied with Roger Fedra on 369. And finally, Coco Golf came back from a set down to defeat Hans Jabal and reach a second French Open semi-final. The reigning U.S. Open champion and a former Roland Garros runner rallied to win 4-6, 6-2, 6-3. And that's the last save on the show to Night. Another finger licking edition of your favorite sports show on radio with them in Feed Dynamo. Akiemi Fagolagum. Thank you so very much. Have a fantastic night and God bless you richly. Let's get some more. Come on.